in this problem we're told to calculate the force exerted on a rocket when the propelling gases are being expelled at a rate of 1300 kilograms per second with a speed of 4.5 times 10 to the 4 meters per second. So we're given two things here, kilograms per second, and we're also given the velocity. And what we're trying to calculate is the force. So we can say F equals question mark. So the way we're going to solve this is by using a couple formulas. So the, force, uh, the first formula you're going to use is the force is equal to the change in momentum, we denote by P, over the change in time. So if we can solve for the change in momentum over the change in time, that gives us the force uh, being applied, right? So you need to know the formula for momentum too. So the formula for momentum is mass times velocity. So the change in momentum is equal to mass times the change in velocity because the mass is constant. So really this is mv final minus mv initial because that's how you get the change in the velocity uh, and then that gives us the change in momentum. So if we want to solve for this, we can plug this in here. So f equals mv final minus mv initial and then you would go ahead and divide by the change in time. So looking at what they give us, we know we have kilograms per second. So we have amount of mass per change in time. So notice that we get 1300 kilograms would be the mass and then the change in time would be one second because that's the ratio. 1300 kilograms for every one second. And then the change in momentum, this is where it's kind of tricky, but essentially the initial velocity is zero because the change in momentum, uh, we're assuming that it's basically zero in the beginning. And then the, the momentum or the change in it would just be what the momentum is now. So Really, uh, this value is zero, so it's just mv final, or the velocity that we're given, divided by the change in time. And then it's really just a matter of plugging in it. So uh, the mass we know is 1300 kg. Let me rewrite that. Uh, multiplying by the velocity they give us is 4.5 times 10 to the 4, dividing by the change in time, which is 1 second. So really just dividing by 1. Um, so it's just 1300 times 4.5 times 10 to the 4, which gives us a value of 5850000, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the force in this case is 58.5 times 10 to the 6. And then we denote, uh, denote uh, force in newtons. So 58.5 times 10 to the 6 newtons. Uh, that's going to be the force in this problem. So when they say calculate the force exerted on the rocket, uh, this is going to be your answer. So all we did was use these two formulas that relate um, momentum, time, and force, and then just the formula for momentum to solve. Uh, but yeah, so this is going to be your answer, and uh, hopefully you found this useful.